So here are some facts before we get to my opinions on this book. I still enjoy Joanna's content. This video and like my other videos are not meant to attack him or anything. They're just my opinions on the story that was presented. And you're allowed to disagree with me. These are my opinions. But this is also my channel, so I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Steph. And yeah, we are here to talk about Children of Eden again. Fun. I originally posted about this book in 2017, I think. And spoiler alert, I did not like it. Recently, more people have been watching that video, and I don't understand why. Those are from the terrible days on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but some people have been nicely encouraging me that, hey, you know, book two is better. You should check out book two. And other people have been not so nicely telling me that my opinion is wrong. And honestly, I can respect that. I felt like I needed to revisit this book. I wanted to do it last year, but I put up a poll, and everyone said, you know what, don't do it. You didn't enjoy the book. Don't read it again. But honestly, in my first review, I was so mad at myself. I was mad at the book. It just... <laughs> It, honestly, I just wasn't that great on camera as well. I'm slightly better now, so why not revisit this? I tabbed this book, I took notes, and I feel more confident about talking about this book and not being yelling the whole time, throwing the book and being, ah! you know how they do with the books, and you can, like, tear a certain way, just tear it right down the spine. I feel more confident that I won't be like that in this review. So before we get too far into it, let me just lay out what's going to be going on with some of my biggest ticks not ticks but like little three categories i'm going to talk about in the book for the most part what am i doing i don't know let's just talk about it one it was fast paced two there is some decent world building and three i still kind of hate all the characters the pacing is quick it may just be a me thing but there are some things that really just go so fast that for convenience sake later in the book you can just say, oh, I already learned this information, or oh, I remember this from earlier, or <laughs> like with Lark's house, oh, we visited this place earlier, but I didn't bother to mention it because it's just a quick little pit stop, but I know where Lark lives, guys! Sometimes to comprehend what I just read, I'd have to reread the last few sentences or paragraphs, and I really don't like that when I'm reading a book. I don't want to have to keep rereading to understand what I'm reading or what just happened. I want to be able to read it and comprehend. The world of Eden is really interesting and really easy to visualize. The visuals they give you in describing the world, how it works, what it looks like, it was really good. I really enjoyed that. That was probably my favorite aspect of this book. Probably the best aspect of this book. That is like the one thing I really enjoy about this book is the world building. Everything else, not so much. Like I said, we learned how Eden looks, how it works, how it operates, how it came to be, and I really enjoyed that. Now, as for the characters, I know we're dealing with mostly teenagers, but come on. When the terrible love triangle is introduced, we have the two main love interests just acting, turning into absolute babies whenever the other one so much as looked or talked to slash about Rowan. Grow up! You've both known her for a few days, less than a week. Oh. My. Goodness. Not just the romantic aspect of it, but just how possessive they are of Rowan, as if she's a thing rather than a person. At one point, Rowan was going to give eye implants that her mother paid for her to Lachlan, but it was turned out that they could only be possessed by Rowan because they're made specifically for her. And Lachlan says, you know what, I'll just be your handler then. You can get the eyes, but I'll be your handler. Like, what is she, a dog? Then a little bit later, we have Rowan and Lachlan outside of Lark's house. They have a little moment, and then Rowan goes inside. A few minutes later, Lark's like, you know what? It looks like he owned you, and it looked like you didn't mind being owned. That's not the Rowan that I know. You've known her for, like, two days longer than, like, Lachlan has known her. Like, none of you guys really know her. You haven't had a chance. You've known her for a few hours each night. He's known her for a little bit. It's like, about... Combined, you've maybe known her for the same amount of time. It's like, you guys are fighting, and it's terrible. Just shut up. Moving on. There's no really morally gray positions in this book. Everything is written out to be pretty black and white. That's not much of a complaint. It's just kind of an observation. It's pretty much, this is bad, this is bad, this is good, this is better. There's no real moral gray ground here in this book. And I would have enjoyed it if there was more morally gray stuff. M maybe you can consider one thing morally gray. The whole, like... Um, Boz thing, the Al Von Boz, I can't think of his name, like the founder of Eden. I guess you could consider his morally gray, but they presented to be this was a bad thing. How dare. Like, once you get to that point, spoilers by the way, but you should have known that by now. <laughs> 
that's kind of, like, I guess you could argue that it is morally gray, but they really present it to be that is, like, on the bad side. So there's that. I think the story could have been better. Whether that means taking it back and just making book one longer so there's more of an arc, or just scrapping all the characters and making them better and less trash. Also, this book kept using the phrase unmolested, and it made me very uncomfortable. I really didn't hit on everything that frustrated me about this book. Like the fact that Rowan, after waking up from eye surgery on her eyeballs, was out of the anesthesia within seconds and able to make conscious and very impactful decisions seconds after waking up from anesthesia from surgery on her eyes. Not just that, also them igno completely ignoring the doctor's orders for aftercare of surgery. But I digress. I didn't like Children of Eden. Again, big surprise. However, I do think it was worth it to revisit this book and make another review, a better review, after about a little over a year of doing this kind of thing. As always, go ahead and share your comments and opinions down below. Let me know what you thought of the review, what you thought of the book, anything you want to say. I doubt that I will be reading book two or book three, but the year is still young. If you guys convince me or if this, guy, if this video gets enough attention, maybe I will keep reading the series. Like I said, the year is young. Maybe it'll happen, but for now, it's not. That's all I've got for you guys today. I really hope you have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later.